Tropical forests play a really critical role in both combating and contributing to climate change. It can be frustrating to look at the global data, but I think it's really important to look at where we are succeeding. We know what works. We know how to do it. And if we look at these success stories, we can learn lessons. We have more tools than ever to help us combat deforestation. This graph shows all primary forest loss in Brazil year by year. The brown parts of the bars shows forest loss that's related to fire, and the green parts is forest loss related to all other causes. Brazil was often seen as the golden child of tropical forest conservation. Yet in 2019, Brazil saw a new president, President Bolsonaro. Os incêndios acontecem praticamente nos mesmos lugares onde o caboclo e o índio queimam seus roçados em busca de sua sobrevivência. Bolsonaro was very vocally against forest conservation. He gutted many environmental laws. He gutted environmental enforcement agencies. As a result, we saw significantly rising deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon. President Lula da Silva took office in 2023. Climate change will have the highest priority in my government. He bolstered law enforcement, he created new environmental laws, and he also started increasing recognition of indigenous peoples and local communities' rights to the land. We saw an incredible reduction in forest loss in Brazil in 2023, so he really reversed that trend, which shows to us how important political leadership is in saving tropical forests. Data and transparency of data play an incredibly important role in protecting tropical forests. This is a photo from Madagascar where members of the National Park Service have been using an app called Forest Watcher, which is part of Global Forest Watch. Global Forest Watch is a free online tool that uses satellites, cloud computing, and artificial intelligence to allow anyone anywhere to see where forests are disappearing and where they are growing back in near real time. Rainforest Foundation U.S. worked with over 30 communities in Peru to train them on the use of Forest Watcher. So looking at those 30 communities that received access to the technology, they compared them to another 30 communities that did not. If you look at the community territory that is up to the left, you see a lot more deforestation occurring. But the really cool thing is you can also just see it on the map. If you look at the territory that is circle, this is one of the communities that had access to the technology, and you see fewer deforestation alerts populating in that area over the past few years. And what we were able to show is that over the first year alone, the communities that were using Forest Watcher reduced deforestation by 50% compared to those who were not. This map shows the really critical role that indigenous peoples and local communities play in protecting tropical forests in the Amazon. You can see that the areas where indigenous peoples manage the forests are actually protected, but outside those areas, deforestation is often increasing. We see this trend where indigenous peoples are playing an incredibly important role in protecting tropical forests, not just in the Amazon, but in other countries as well. A really critical international agreement for indigenous peoples is the UN Declaration for the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. UN DRIP ensures the rights of indigenous peoples to their land and to their resources, the rights to self-determination, and also a process that we call FPIC, or Free Prior Informed Consent, which says that communities need to be engaged and consulted and give consent before a government, for example, could remove them from their lands. We estimate that about 50% of the world's land is managed by indigenous peoples and local communities, and that actually includes around a third of the remaining intact tropical forests. Those are the most pristine and undisturbed forests that hold the most carbon, the most biodiversity. Very little of that land is actually legally recognized. There was a study that came out recently from the Rights and Resources Initiative that found an additional 100 million hectares of land have been legally recognized as indigenous or community owned since 2015. So we've seen a lot of successes over the past few years, but there's still a lot left to be done. Deforestation is increasing every year. 
Climate change is creating drier conditions, which is creating increased threats of fire. We have more tools than ever to help us combat deforestation, better data, better technology, and it's improving every day. And one of the issues that I'm really looking at over the next few years is around how much finance we can bring to tropical forest conservation, and specifically how much of that finance goes to the indigenous peoples and local communities who are doing the best job of protecting tropical forests. We would love to hear about more success stories and solutions that you are working on. Please add them to the comments and share them with the Global Forest Watch team.